Okay, Don back. Well, I've got the uh, RCA back out here in the garage now. And uh, I don't have anything in it. I'll plug it into my 20 amp cord here. And uh, just turn it on for a minute. It, uh, I've already tested it in the house. I just want to see that it's still working and everything. And I do swear I, I do smell. Yeah, yeah, I hear too. So there's, that's regular electrical burning smell. So it, that's not just, you know, new product. That's what I thought it was at first. But, uh, and on 30 seconds, it doesn't. Right in it for 30 seconds, it doesn't. So. The transformer doesn't start making all that noise. But, uh, and I think, I'm not going to do it now because I'm just tired. I've been running around testing microwaves, carrying them around in, in the garage, you know, house in the garage. So I'm going to just, uh, let's sit here and go back in, look on the computer and see. I know I want to send it back. I hate to have to pay shipping. If I'd have bought it straight from Amazon, since I have the Prime, I wouldn't. Well, they, they kind of do that most on most things anyway that cost much of anything. I wouldn't have to pay shipping, uh, but um, I don't know what RCA is going to do because this was went, didn't come from a Amazon, came from RCA, the maker of the microwave. And the uh, only thing I know about them is in one of the reviews they said that uh, RCA's tech support non-existent, and nobody answered them when they had a problem with one. There's only one or two that had a problem. Uh, out, of, out of the reviews, they didn't have you know in the thousands of reviews. Uh, I looked at them on Walmart and Amazon, and same, they had them on Walmart for the same price. And uh, and you know on Google, you know, just kind of in general, they seem like the best ones overall as far as not having you know catching on fire and stuff like a lot of them. Well, half, most of them do nowadays, brand new ones. So uh, I. Uh, I was gonna, I've said that in a couple other videos. I was going to get it at Walmart, but then that was going to not come till December 9th, and that was on the 3rd, I think, when I was ordering it. And uh, it would come in two days at Amazon, so I went ahead and ordered it at Amazon. I didn't expect it to be bad and have to go back, of course. So, this sucks. Um, And I, it, every time I've used it, it, everything has worked. I've tested out the boiler. There's that boiler up in the top there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to even touch it, even though I know it hasn't been on. But uh, other than that, it was making that, it was the transformer was so loud. It, sound, it Like I said in another video, it sounded like kind of like a trans, uh, ballast, which is transformers inside of there. Uh, for a fluorescent lights going out, and they'll buzz like that for a long, you know, week, month, year, for it until they finally go out. Um, sounded kind of like that, or kind of louder, more like a, kind of more like a welder when you're running a welder. I've got, I've had, got an, I have, <laughs> have an old Sears 110 volt arc welder, I bought in about 1975, 76, still works. I did have some problems with it, but I made it work again. Um, and I have a Farm Hand, which is made by Campbell Hospital, uh, 125 amp um, wire welder, and it sounds kind of like the transformers in there. That's what it sounds like. So the mi I've never heard a microwave be that loud. You know, a transformer be that loud. But I thought, well, maybe it's just because it has uh, the heating element on top. Maybe it's a different design. But since it blew the blew the breaker switch twice, the breaker and the power strip twice, I just found that out t tonight on on my. my you know, being on my mom and my brother, um, then it, there's something really wrong with it. So, because um, the power strip, it didn't even blow when the when the end was blow. <laughs> when the uh, I could go into all my theories on that, but uh, well, the resistance wasn't. I, I'm not gonna try to go into it. Um, it didn't blow even whenever it was heating up to the point of melting over at the wall socket. Uh, which it would be the breaker, but if it got over, you know, from the, that would let it blow out here in the garage, but in that instance, but it didn't send enough uh, draw down that way to do it. 
that's what's dangerous about having too much resistance in your lines. You can have a fire before anything will, will trip off, you know. But, um, and I know that, you know, the, the breaker's not wore out. It's still, it never, it didn't, uh, I just put the other microwave that we all thought was the bad one that was causing the trouble back in there and ran it uh, for four minutes. He got the big, big thing of Pyrex with water in it and Pyrex bowl with water in it and it, and it didn't blow. So it doesn't happen. It just work like it should. So hopefully, I guess, uh, well, I hope that uh, Kenmore microwave works, but if it keeps kicking down out of 10 and 8 and not cooking my food, then I won't be happy with that. But then I've dealt with that dang thing for almost a year now. I hate the thing. Unless it'll start working right now that I've got the, uh, the bad pieces, the uh, burned up set, uh, plugs out of it and put new ones on it. I'm going to go ahead and order a new... Let me get me a triple light power strip that uh, uh, should handle it. You know, it's a 15 amp. I'm not going to get a 20 amp because it costs a lot more. But 20, uh, the 20 amp takes longer to blow, and I haven't had trouble with the power strip stripping. So you know, I'd rather have it blow at 15 amps than 20 amps. That's safer. So of course, the 20 amp does have heavier wiring. I kept going back and forth, and I'm still kind of going back and forth. Uh, if I knew for sure which breaker it was on, and I knew that it was on it, there's only actually two or three 15 amp breakers in this house. I hadn't realized that till the other day, and I got in there, I'd forgotten. I knew it, and I forgot, you know. But there's the top, whole top row, of course, the top ones are 30 amps for the dryer and stuff, and the air conditioner. So, anyway, there's 50, 10, 12 or 15 uh, breakers in there, and two or three of them are 15 amps. So I'm kind of pretty thinking that the uh, <coughs> 20 amps, that's a 20 amp. Since it works so well over these years, especially on the microwaves and everything. I have seen it blow. There's a hoolage in the lamp, bulb lamp in the living room there plugged in the same circuit. And if you turn them both on full blast at the same time, then it can blow it, uh, which we need. We hardly ever do. Hardly ever don't use the lamp all that much. Uh, didn't used to. Kind of more now. But... Uh, uh, I'm bending over here to try to kind of be in the video. My head may be cut off. I don't know. Um, <coughs> anyway, it needs to be moved. And, uh, the couch is too heavy for me to move it. The, the next plug is behind the couch. It's too heavy for me to do it. So I haven't done it. Can't do it by myself anymore. I used to could. But, uh, but we'll probably get that off of there, even if we move it across the room. Be a little less convenient to use, but you know, safety is really more important. Uh, <coughs> I think my mom finally realized that she was missing me tonight. So, uh, you know, women are more used a lot of times that, that they want things to look uh, the way they want it to look, and they don't understand sometimes when some things aren't. You try to explain to them that might, it's not very safe, and they're like, oh, but it won't work right, it won't look right, I don't like it over there. You uh, you deal with that. So, uh, man, I'm tired. Okay, so I'm gonna quit standing here saying nothing. And uh, my keys are always getting out of whack and bugging me in my pocket. So, there it is. Back out in the garage, and what I'm gonna do is just let it sit there. Get the box down. And, uh, Figure out what it's gonna, whether I might pay shipping to send it back. We paid eighty, about eighty-five dollars with tax, you know, no free shipping, which was cool. Um, but if we have to pay twenty-five to thirty-five, forty dollars, any upward up to even fifty dollars, who knows? Uh, shipping is really high when you pay it as one, uh, one person, one item, you know, uh, it can be really high on something that heavy. That thing weighs 45, 50 pounds, so. Guessing, I didn't look at it, but from carrying them around, that's what I'm guessing. So, uh, and the size of them, you know, size makes a big difference of the box. So, uh, we'll see what it's going to take to send it back. But if it's blowing the breaker twice, I'm not keeping it another, you know, any longer. Can't just hope it'll get better. Something's brand new and it's doing blowing the breakers. Yeah, it's it's a uh, junk so that's it then 
We'll see. I'll probably make an update video if I figure out if <laughs> some Kenmore blows more breakers or like I said, I'm gonna get a new power strip. And uh, that other one we can just bring it out here in the garage and use it for stuff out here, you know. No problem there. So um Alright, bye.